hello everyone welcome back to my channel so last time we created a gradient app bar so in this video we are going to be taking it one step further and we are going to be creating an animated app bar so the end goal of this video is to create a beautiful animated app bar which has a rotating planet on the background and a white text on the foreground something which looks like this Before we begin coding, we need to do some preparation. We are going to be needing a picture of a planet without any kind of background. So what we need is a perfectly circular picture of a planet without any kind of background. So what we are looking for is a PNG of a planet. So I have got this PNG of Mars, which I'm going to be using in this example but you can really pick any planet that you want just make sure that it is perfectly circular with a transparent background so the rotation doesn't look weird so i'm just going to create a new folder and going to call it assets Inside it, I'm going to create a new folder and we are going to be calling it IMG. So that's where all our images are going to be placed. And here I'll just paste mars.png. And after that, I'll just add the dependency inside the pub spec file. So I'll add the dependency right here. There we go. Then I'm going to do the package get. And that's all for the uh, preparation. So here I've got this uh, very basic Flutter app. It's nothing but a card with some text on it. So we are going to be making our app bar in an empty file. I have already created a new file. So we are going to head there. So we will begin with uh, making the material.dart import. And this time around instead of making a stateless widget we are actually going to be making a stateful widget. So the reason for that is explained later in the video. So I'll just create a stateful widget. It's going to be called animated app bar. So on the widget, now we are going to be implementing the preferred size widget as we did in the last video. And we are going to create a constant that represents the preferred size of this widget. And then we are just going to make the overrides for the preferred size widget, which is just get preferred size. And we'll just pass in the preferred height to the size dot from height. And we are also going to add one parameters, which is a type of string, which is the title. And we are going to make a constructor for that. And that's it for the widget part. Now we come to the state part. So on the state part, we are going to be adding something called a single ticker provider state mixing. So what this mixin basically does is that it provides a ticker which can be used by the animations of your widget and a single ticker in particular provides a single ticker so if you got only one animation to take care of then this is the mixin that you should be using. So in the state first thing we are going to be declaring is our animation controller. And the second is the animation object which is of type double. We are gonna call it uh, rotate animation since this is going to be rotating our planet. So now the part that explains why we picked the stateful widget and not stateless widget is because stateful widget has something called the init state method. So init state method gets called as soon as your widget is being built and that's exactly when we want to start our animation. So to use that uh, method we need to extend stateful widget and not stateless widget. So we will just uh, override the init state method. And inside of it, uh, we are going to initialize our animation controller. 
An animation controller has two arguments that we are concerned with. First is the VSync, and for the VSync argument, just pass in the this. And the second is the duration. So we are going to be passing the duration of 180 seconds for this one. So this duration is for how long our animation is going to run. Second, we are going to uh, initialize our rotate animation. So this is going to be a curved animation and it has two arguments that we are concerned with. With first one is the parent, which is going to be our animation controller. And the second is the curve itself. So we are just going to give it a linear curve. So the animation plays out evenly. And next we are going to start the animation by calling the animation controller dot repeat. So calling the repeat will just uh, put the animation on repeat and it will keep playing again and again and again infinitely. So that's it for the animations part. Now we actually start designing our UI which is going to be the rotating planet. So since we want a black background on the planet so we are just going to pass uh, the color black to this container. And just like last time, we are going to give it a padding of 20 on top to compensate for the status bar height. Since we want to overlay things on top of each other, we are going to be using a stack this time. And we are going to align everything to the center inside the stack. And then we are going to give the children to the stack. So the first child we are going to be giving it is called a fitted box. So a fitted box is basically something that scales and positions its children according to a given fit. So the fit we are going to be using is called fit width. So fit width basically makes sure that the width of the widget is no matter what the width of the widget is contained inside the screen or its parent. So the child of this fitted box is going to be a rotation transition. Rotation transition is the easiest way to animate rotations from one state to another. So and the argument we are concerned with here is called the turns. So turns basically accepts an animation as an argument. So here we are just going to pass our rotate animation and flutter will take care of the rest like it always does. And the child of this rotate transition is going to be an image asset. And here we are just going to uh, pass in the path to our image of the Mars that we put it inside the assets folder in the start. Next, uh, just to see how it looks, we are going to be using this app bar as the body of our scaffold for a while. So we are just going to replace the body of the scaffold with our app bar. Just to take a look at how it looks. And we'll just pass in a random title for the time being because we are not really using the title right now. And we are going to hot restart this time. So, so far as you can see, we have managed to create this beautiful animation where we have our red planet spinning inside this black box. But our end goal is not reached yet because we don't want to uh, render the entire planet as our app bar as that would look very ugly. We only want a portion of it so that we can use it as the app bar. So the portion we are looking for is the top. So simply speaking we want to crop out a part of our widget and to do so we are going to be using uh, the align widget with its height factor parameter. So we are going to be wrapping our rotation transition with an align widget. So 
so we are going to be aligning the planet to the top center So the height factor is the important parameter so whatever the height of your widget is it will get multiplied by the it will get multiplied by the height factor so if you provide a smaller height factor the size of your widget will shrink if you provide a larger height factor the size of your widget will increase So since we want only top 20 or 18% of this widget, so we are going to be setting our height factor 0.18. So it will only give us the top 18% of the widget. So we have given it the height factor. Now we can just hot reload. So as you can see, we have successfully managed to crop this uh, widget down to only its 18% of the size. So you can see the planet still spins inside so that is perfect and that's exactly what we wanted and now you can probably see where we are headed. Now the only thing that is missing from this widget is some text. So just let's just add text. We are going to be using the similar text like last time. So let's add the text widget which is basically going to be serving as the title of the app bar. So we are just going to use the widget.title because we've already passed the title to the our widget. So widget.title and we are going to pass the same uh, text style that we used in the gradient app bar. So let's do that. So for the color, we are just going to be using plain white for now. Font size is going to be about 32. Font weight is going to be 700. and letter spacing is going to be 10 so we are just going to hot reload and as you can see our text is beautifully overlaid on top of the red planet and our app bar is almost complete the only thing i'm gonna do is just make our title uppercase so it fits better with the app bar theme and we are also going to be increasing the font size a little bit so with the power of flutter we have managed to create something beautiful in less than 5 minutes and i believe with an app bar like this you can definitely impress a client so here's a closer look at our app bar you can see the Red planet is smoothly spinning in the background and our text on top of it just looks perfect. So in case you have this weird output where the widget is not properly cropped and the planet seems to be leaking out of the app bar, then don't worry, just uh, wrap your align widget inside of a clip rect widget and it should solve it. And here I created some fake UI to go with this app bar and believe me it looks absolutely beautiful. And just for fun I decided to give a try to pictures of different planets and here are the results. And I'll have to admit they also look absolutely beautiful. So that will wrap up today's video, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and for more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button.
So I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, keep coding and keep creating.